Um, in history, Jesus was viewed by many of his followers as a mighty prophet, a great and powerful man, but a man, and a man, immortal man. Not the son of God? Not even his nephew, trust him. Constantine did not create Jesus' divinity. He simply sanctioned an already widely held idea. Semantics. No, it's not. A man like everybody else. Quiet. Why are you telling these lies? What are you talking about? I'm the son of Mary and Joseph. I'm the one who preached in Galilee. I had followers. We marched on Jerusalem. Pilate condemned me and God saved me. No, he didn't. Who are you talking about? Don't try and tell me what happened to me because I know. I live like a man now. I work, eat, have children. I enjoy my life. For the first time, I'm enjoying it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So don't go around telling lies about me. I live like a man now. I work, eat, have children. I enjoy my life. For the live like a man now. I work, eat, have children. I enjoy my life. For the first time, like a man now. I work, eat, have children. I enjoy my life. For the first time, I'm enjoying it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So don't go around telling lies about me. Or I'll tell everybody the truth. It's just lies about me. Or I'll tell everybody the truth. Lies about me. Or I'll tell everybody the truth. Just a minute. What's the matter with you? Look around you. Look at all these people. Look at their faces. You see how unhappy they are? You see how much they're suffering? Their only hope is the resurrected Jesus. I don't care whether you're Jesus or not. The resurrected Jesus will save the world, and that's what matters. Those are lies. You can't save the world by lying. I created the truth out of what, then that's what matters. Those are lies. You can't save the world by lying. This will save the world, and that's what matters. Those are lies. You can't save the world by lying. I created the truth out of what people needed and what they believed. If I have to crucify you to save the world, then I'll crucify you. And if I have to resurrect you, then I'll do that too, whether you like it or not. I won't let you. I'll tell everyone the truth. <laughs> Go ahead. Go on. Tell them now. Who's going to believe you? And I'll do that too, whether you like it or not. I won't let you. I'll tell everyone the truth. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you like it or not? I won't let you. I'll tell everyone the truth. <laughs> I'll tell everyone the truth. <laughs> Go ahead. Go on. Tell them now. Who's going to believe you? For Holy Grail. The Sun From the Middle English. Sangria of the original Halcyon legend. Now, as two words, can you translate for our friend? Soria, it means royal blood. When the legend speaks of the chalice that held the blood of Christ, it speaks, in fact, of the female womb that carried Jesus' royal blood. female womb that carried Jesus's royal bloodline. It speaks, in fact, of the female womb that carried Jesus's royal bloodline. But how could Christ have a bloodline unless... Mary was pregnant at the time of the crucifixion. Ficarum. The witch's hammer. It instructed the clergy on how to locate, torture, and kill all free thinking women. In three centuries of witch hunts, 50,000 women are captured, burned alive at the stake. At least that. Some 10 millions. Imagine them, Robert. But Christ's throne might live on in a female child. You are Christ's throne might live on in a female child. But Christ's throne might live on in a female child. Robert? But Christ's throne might live on in a female child. You asked what would be worth killing for. 
witness the greatest cover-up in human history. This is the secret the Priory of Sion has defended for over 20 centuries. They are the guardians of the royal bloodline. Keepers of the proof of our true past. They are the protectors of the living descendants of Jesus Christ. Of our true past. They are the protectors of the living descendants of Jesus Christ. They are the protectors of the living descendants of Jesus Christ. They are the protectors of the living descendants of Jesus Christ. And then imagine. The proof of the bloodline that throughout history they seek out and kill the living descendants of Jesus Christ. That's that throughout history they seek out and kill the living descendants of Jesus Christ. That throughout history they seek out and kill the living descendants of Jesus Christ. sat upon a scarlet coated beast full of blasphemy with seven heads and ten horns. She was dressed in purple and scarlet and glittering with gold and precious stones and pearls. Holding in her hand a golden cup full of abomination and I saw that she was drunk with the blood of the saints and the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. Gold and precious stones and pearls. <laughs> 